Let me slide this a little closer. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just really proud of the team. You know, we talked about it the week before SEC plays. We talked about the importance of when you get a chance to win a game, win it. Win that Sunday game, you got a chance to sweep. And we did that, I don't know, three times or, or so this year. And uh, they all count the same. And, you know, once we got to the fourth inning today, you know, we kind of we found out that Georgia won, and you know we had won the won the West and and the SEC championship, and I think that was about the time that McIntyre was rolling along pretty good. We scored a few runs, took the lead by two, and we thought we we're going to be safe and get him out. I think if we had left him in, he probably could have gone another couple innings, but we just didn't want to chance it. You know, we thought, well, we'll get through this inning with these young guys that want to do it saying they want the ball, and uh, it didn't go very good, obviously. So uh, we had our opportunities, though. We had runner on first and second, nobody out, top of the order up, and we didn't move anybody around. So that was uh, that was disappointing. I think we had an inning in the third inning. We had runners first, second, nobody out. Uh, we didn't score. So uh, in the four-run inning, I was really good to see those two out-base hits, stolen bases. It was good, good baseball right there. But uh, – just really excited to be SEC champs, so hard to do, and share that crown with uh, Florida. We didn't play Florida. Um, so it's kind of mixed emotions right now. Frustrated because we lost the game. Felt like we could have won it. Uh, wasn't that we like we weren't trying to win it. Um, but I think if we would have uh, – I think if we would have known that uh, LSU would have beat Georgia, we definitely would have pitched differently going into that sixth inning. Um, but I guess that's about all I got. Bob. Hey, hey Dave. Um, Hunter, obviously, I think that was his shortest stint, fewest pitches, you know, after a short week when he threw his most pitches and his most standing. Just what, what do you think he just, he probably didn't have it today, maybe a little fatigued or what would you think about Hunter's start? You know, his stuff wasn't bad. I just think that we weren't planning on pitching him very long today, if possible. Um, would have been a lot easier. We might have not even have pitched him today if we'd have won yesterday. So uh, I would have played a lot of different players today if we'd have won yesterday. But, uh, you know, throwing the ball around the plate, wasn't really putting it on. They did a nice job of – they nickeled and dimed him pretty good. You talk about bloopers and cat balls, and he made good pitches, and they just found holes. You're kind of going, wow. He was a little frustrated with it, um, and he pitched out of a jam or two. So uh, this will give him an opportunity to rest a little bit. And then I heard you say on the pregame show, you took x-rays of Bolton's uh, ankle. I guess they were negative, and, but he has a sprain. Uh, what do you think his status might be for Hoover? And um, I think that's your fifth position player who's missed at least one conference game because of an injury. Just what, what are your thoughts on that and, and Bolton moving forward? Yeah, I mean, as of now, I would say he's definitely not playing on Wednesday, Thursday, maybe not at all. Uh, he should be ready in a while, though, in a week or so, but we'll see. You know, he kept it iced off and on today during the game, kept it elevated in the dugout, sitting down up on the bench and, uh, you know, doing everything they can to accelerate that and get that right. And how how well do you think McIntyre pitched? You know the weekend as a whole. I think six and a third scoreless, and um, and then that's about his fifth or sixth really good uh, outing in a row. Yeah, he's been good. I mean, he he's really good out of the pen, and uh, you know he was sharp today. He was sharper uh, on Friday or Thursday, the game one, but he's still pretty sharp today. And you know, like you said, he had thrown six plus innings, um, probably a total of. 80 some pitches I'm thinking um you know he didn't want to come out but we just felt like we're good thanks Hodge. yeah Dave with McIntyre did he show you something today like could this be a role that he has moving forward pitching twice on a weekend like that yeah I think so I, I don't think he has any problem with it at all just he's in good shape right now he's feeling it he's got a good feel for that cutter and he can throw it any time and it's moving and diving. And yeah, he's got, he's got, uh, I think he's got the stamina to do it. And Wagner had the the double off the top of the wall, nearly got out. Just how would you assess his overall first weekend back? 
Yeah. yeah, you know, it was a tough, tough weekend for him to, to to open back up after being off for a month. He's facing arms that are 95, 96, 97 from the right side and lefties that are moving it around pretty good. So I would say that I, I think his swing got better every day. And even in pregame, I could see it. I like to stand out in center field behind second base and watch the swings. And his swing looked a lot better today than it looked yesterday in pregame. So uh, he said it's it's less sore than it was a few days ago. So a few more days of 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 kind of rest in it. You know, we won't let him swing too much. I think could could really make a jump for us. Ellis. Yeah, coach, we saw it with Tiger last year. He was so good in the regular season, then kind of seemed to hit that wall. And then even Smith to an extent before he regained it. With your freshman pitchers, is that a little bit of a concern considering how big of a role Woods played for you? Yeah, with Wood, I don't think so. I, I don't really know. I don't know why he would have hit the wall. We, I mean, we the last two weeks, I think we've only thrown him once, maybe three weeks. And he hadn't thrown that much, you know. And today, kind of the same as yesterday, all over the place, not throwing as hard as normal. Looked like nerves to me. And then just big picture with your offense, you know, it seems like, you know, we, we keep talking about how some guys get it going and then some guys scuffle a little bit, just big picture. You mentioned Vandy has really good arms. Just how would you evaluate where your team's at offensively and going into the postseason? Uh, you know, I'd say middle of the road right now. I mean, it's been, it's been better. We put together some good innings, but we got to get some guys going, you know, guys that have been, been around and, and they've had, you think about, you know, a couple of weeks back at Mississippi state, the, the weekend that like Borfin had and, Kendall Diggs and those guys, well, you know, then they kind of tapered off last weekend. We've, we've got to get them all going. I mean, Peyton Holt was huge for our offense this weekend. He looked more like a guy that should be hitting in the three hole, and uh, that may happen. Come back around, Bob. Dave, I mean, obviously nobody at the committee called me, but it looks like you guys are pretty good shape for a top eight seed. I'm not sure – what Hoover can do for you, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe you get some more at bats for, for Josenberg and Wagner, maybe some of these young freshmen who have had good outings but struggle of late, maybe they can get some things straightened out. I, what, what do you see moving forward for Hoover and kind of what, what are, what, what's the plan between now and then? Are you guys going there tonight or tomorrow and kind of what, what's the plan there once you get to Hoover? Yeah. Once we get out of here, we're going to stop and eat as a team at a place down the road in Franklin, I think, and then head on into, uh, into Hoover and, let the guys relax a little bit and uh, give them tomorrow off as well. Um, and then uh, then we'll, we'll get a little workout in a couple days in a row and try to get some things squared away, get some guys healed up a little bit. And, yeah, just, you know, as far as the games, we're going to try to win them, but I'm definitely going to mix it up a little bit. I don't know who we're going to pitch yet. we got two or three hours on the bus to discuss that a little bit. And like I say, as far as maybe especially Wagner and Josenberg against some extra ABs against quality SEC pitching and some of these young pitchers getting some other opportunities, how how could that benefit you in Hoover? Well, obviously the offensive side of it, getting those two guys going uh, would, would be big for our offense. And, uh, you know, the young pitchers, you know, a guy that needs to get on the mound is Fouch. We need him. And uh, I feel bad that we didn't throw him today. Um, I know he's had a couple rough outings in a row, but he's got really good stuff. And, you know, we, we need to get him, we need to get him on the mound and get him going a little bit and to give Bobby an opportunity to pitch some. And, uh, you know, we got to get Wood out there. We got to get him going. We got to have him throwing like he is. He's thrown before for us a lot. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to spread it out as best I can. We're not going to overdo it with anybody. And, you know, we're going to try to win as many as we can, get ready for a regional. Thanks, Dave. Hodge. Yeah, Dave, if Bolton isn't able to play next week, like you said earlier, just how confident are you that Harold Cole can kind of step in there and, and fill that? Yeah, I mean, he played really good today. I thought he had some good at-bats, and that was a big sack fly he had for us today. And he works hard every day, takes his ground balls, does his work. Um, I'm, I'm good with him. It's fine. And then with McLaughlin, he was kind of the odd man out this weekend. Just is he another? Was he maybe one of those guys you'd like to to get in there uh, next week in, in Hoover? Yeah, he'll get in there. You know, it's he it might end up being where if somebody's slumping a little bit, we just pull him out of the lineup. Put McLaughlin in DH. We put Diggs back in the outfield. Outfield take somebody out. Whatever we got to do. And uh, you know, you got to be fair. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully everybody will just get it going and. 
you know, we can we can pick and choose who we play, maybe matchups. All right, coach. Thanks for the time.